Hi, welcome back uh, to this video. So the last time we were talking about uh, Samba, uh, we actually made a shared folder, but we are unable to connect to it as an anonymous user because we didn't set any permissions yet. And this video, we actually want to uh, set some permissions. So to to uh, understand what's going on, we first need to understand the, the concept of you know, who's actually authorized to change things on the computer. All right, you know, in your computer, there are actually many users. Um, so for Manjaro specifically, you can go to the settings manager, go to user accounts, and you see there are two users here. One is my username, and then the other one is called nobody. Okay, so there are only two users on this computer. Uh, nobody means, uh, well, for everybody else, you will, you will have, you will be in this uh, user category. All right, if uh, let's say you are logging on, if you are coming from outside, if you're coming from outside as an anonymous user, you log in as an, an anonymous user, let's say from a virtual machine. So this, let's say, let's call this a virtual machine. This is PC1 again, PC2, you log in. Okay, uh, and then what happens? Uh, you are logging in as an anonymous user. I think you will usually default to this nobody user. Okay, so uh, you have very limited privileges and stuff. And there are lots of other roadblocks along the way. Okay, so there are only two users here, and uh, and okay, uh, the users within each user, uh, they are actually so-called groups. Okay, they are actually groups. Okay, so the the way to find out what group you are part of in a in a Linux system is to use this group command, or at least in Arch here, Arch based system. You use this group command and you type your username here. Okay, if you type your username here, you will see that uh, my username is part of the group view, LP, sys, network, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And if you type ls-ll, you'll see that the folder ownership, it belongs to a certain user in a certain group. Okay. If you type ls-ll, all of these actually belong to me. If you go to the root directory, you type ls-ll, you'll see that most of these actually uh, belong to the root okay the root user not uh, not my username anymore so you can so uh, the reason why you you have to do sudo in your root directory is because all the permissions actually belong to the root user okay so the concept i want to actually bring across here is that as long as you are the owner of the folder okay as long as you as you change contents as the owner of a folder you should have most if not all the permissions you need okay so if you go to uh, for example public you go to samba shared folder you type ls ll you should see that the the user that created this folder in this case my username it is the uh, and the group which this user belongs to the this will be the owners of this shared folder. Okay, so um, one way around this permissions problem is to log in uh, and is to tell Samba that anyone who logs into the server, it will have it will be using it, it will have all the privileges of a certain user. So this is what this force user thing is about. Okay, and force group. Okay, so remember the user is part of a group. I, I just uh, shared just now what that was about. You can actually force any login, any anonymous login for that matter, to have the permissions of a certain user and a certain group. So if you want to give it all the permissions, you need to give it the, uh, you need to tell Samba, okay, I want anyone who logs in, you will have the permissions of my username and the permissions of my user group okay this will be this these two uh, entries here i can't remember which is user which is group exactly i have to search that up again but um yeah so let's let's uh, just do that okay so um of course when, when it comes to username and groups uh, you can use chmod and chown as well um these are just uh, supplementary for you Okay, this is in uh, the video three 
uh, folder okay commands to use okay so um, so yeah you can do groups username okay so let's let's actually change the samba config file so video to smb config and I'll copy it here so let's change the samba config file and basically uh, again what I'm trying to say is that anytime you log in anytime anyone logs in you want to uh, you want to make that person be able to uh, uh, have all the permissions so this is like minimal security stuff okay uh, for more advanced security you want to make users and all that that ones uh, you can watch some other videos so this is just a bare bones only okay so I'll, I'll type force user equals well my username okay force group okay will also be my username because if you see here ls ll uh, again both of these uh, for both of these actually um, are my username okay and of course here if you if you look at the if you look at this one if you look at the samba shared folder ls ls dash ll you can see that uh, yeah you okay never mind yeah you can see that uh, the samba shared folder is actually owned by my username uh, group and my username all right so what, what you're telling Samba to do with this is to uh, say for anyone who logs in, you should have all the permissions possible uh, that are granted by my username and my user group. Okay, so this is here. Okay, I'm going to quit, save and quit, and let's uh, sudo cpar all of this over to um, uh, etc samba okay smb.config okay so let's cat smb.config and then we'll see the force user and force group are already there and then let's restart and this should help at least some of the problems that we encountered before Let's connect and you'll see we can actually uh, run into an empty folder. Now if I try this on OpenSUSE, that will work as well. I can connect as an anonymous user and I can do something here. Let's open a terminal here. Um, and what I want to do is, uh, let's, let's run new fetch. Eh? Okay, and I want to just uh, make a point that I, I can actually um, uh, run I can actually share stuff from my virtual machine. So I can do a uh, neo fetch into OpenSUSE neo fetch dot txt. Okay, and what happens? I can go back to my public folder in my Samba shared folder. There's a neo fetch file. What I can do is I can do cat OpenSUSE neo fetch, and you'll be able to find this OpenSUSE neo fetch here. I can do the same thing for my Ubuntu. Okay, and uh, if I refresh, there will be the OpenSUSE new fetch over here. I can open this in terminal. Okay, and I can do cat OpenSUSE new fetch. And uh, let's do new fetch double arrow. I'll do Ubuntu VM new fetch dot txt. And if you go back to our Samba shared folder, we'll see a Ubuntu VM new fetch. Alright, so you can see uh, this uh, these things actually pop up. And of course I can do one more time uh, new fetch okay, to host manjaro new fetch.txt and this will be you can actually open it inside any virtual machine you want. Uh, cat okay, host manjaro new fetch and you see that my man manjaro new fetch actually pops up. Okay, perfect. So you can see that um, very basically, um, yeah, very basically, um, we we can actually um, log on to uh, OpenSUSE 
I mean, we can actually log on to this, this uh, shared folder with very minimal permissions just by doing this force user, user option. Okay, and not only that, uh, you can also connect uh, to this folder with other computers as well. So I'm going to shortly transition, or rather, yeah, I'm going to uh, switch quickly over to my other PC and I'll try to log into this Samba server from a virtual machi machine in that PC and of course the PC itself. So this will show you that I'm able to do all of these things with Samba. Okay. Again, hello. Uh, so I have hopped over to my other PC, which is uh, based on Manjaro. I'm actually recording using OBS Studio and the, the, the video is here. And what I can do is I can use Samba uh, to actually port, put this uh, video over to my other, uh, other uh, PC so that I can, you know, stitch it together. But uh, anyway, how do you log on to Samba? Again, we use the same thing, smb colon slash slash 192.168.7.132 Samba share uh, haha, I think. So if I lo log in here, it will say it's unreachable or something like that. Let me check whether I, I get the, I got the, the, the uh, things right. Okay. Hold on. Okay, I think my other PC had some issues. Let me try restarting the Samba server on the other side. Okay, now things should work correctly. Let me reload. Aha. Okay, so see, all, all, all my new fetches are here from the other ones. Uh, and what I can do, of course, is to uh, quickly, you know, put put in uh, all the all the videos. Yeah, I'm actually recording this. I can I just uh, copy and paste over it through Samba, you know. Uh, and not only that, uh, I can look at the virtual machines that I have now. Okay, so let's look at the virtual machines and let's open it up here. All right, and what, do, what 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 can we do? We can again use the same method. It's a uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, you just go here into your address and you you type in smb colon slash slash one nine two dot one six eight dot seven dot one three two. Okay, samba share haha. And again, all my new fetches are here. So. Uh, I can actually do another new fetch, and I can do in do it in um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, other PC VM uh, new fetch dot txt, and then it will be here. I reload, and I have other PC VM new fetch. Um, Okay, this one I can close and I, I can look in here into the Samba. I can look in the, the Samba network smb colon slash slash 192.168.7.132 Samba share haha. You can see the new fetch is here. Now, uh, what I can do is I can do yet another new fetch just to make a point that. I can actually uh, write folders and do everything I want right over here. Uh, is there no open with terminal? Oh. All right, let, let, let's do it this way. Yeah. There's a terminal here. New fetch. Okay. Other PC. Okay, new fetch and that will be in the home directory so dolphin.n to open it up and yeah and now I'll copy I'll cut and paste it into the samba directory samba share and of course I can rename it into a txt file and there you go all right so um, this is all from the Samba server, okay. You you can do it with uh, a host host uh, permissions, 
you can do it on your host machine you can do it on uh, a virtual machine inside your host machine you can do it on other PCs you can you can use a, another virtual machine in another PC to connect to this Samba server and that's the great thing about this Samba server and yeah I'm, I'm back at this this uh, at this uh, my PC again and basically uh, I have my neo fetches here so I can do a cat open SUSE neo fetch I can do a cat uh, other PC neo fetch you can see it's a uh, another PC I have here using KDE plasma uh, for whereas for this this uh, this desktop I use a uh, um, I use XFC and my virtual machine on the other PC and of course I actually have the video here which okay, I actually hello, recorded uh, earlier so yeah I actually recorded that earlier using OBS studio and I ported it over also using Samba you can see that it's a very versatile tool and you can just uh, share net, share things very quickly um, yeah so so I think that's it for this video uh, hope hope that uh, it shows you some of the basics of Samba, uh, the rationale as to why we enter certain commands. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, you can see it's very versatile. You can turn any old computer into a, you know, a cloud machine, which uh, allows you to deposit files there and take files away. It's that simple. Uh, it is very good cloud storage. You can make your own home cloud storage just using a Samba. Okay, so that's that's the the power of Samba, and it's free, of course. Though it, it takes a little bit of learning to to get used to it. All right, so um, yeah, that's all I have. Of course, there are lots of better ways to actually manage the permissions and the security. Uh, but as for now, um, for the very basic purposes of of this video, just to get you in introduced, I won't be touching on that. There are lots of videos that actually touch on that and I'll paste them in the description. You can go and take a look. Um, well, yeah. So no promises on future videos. This is a very short video uh, yeah. video series which I may or may not add uh, more videos on later on. But I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.